again. This is the Maris Ramos for Latina Role Models. And tonight we have... Eliana Valle. Eliana. So you said you were going to begin with me. Where we met a couple of months ago. Yes. At yes. our expo that we had at the community center, the East Orange Community Center, where you were one of the artists there. <laughs> 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 well... <laughs> that is a hobby. <laughs> That's your hobby. But tell me who it's Eliana. Okay. I born and raised in Dominican Republic. I went to medicine, medicine school there. And then I went to Brazil to do my specialization in cardiology. I have How many years you told that? That sounds like a lot of years. Well, mm, mm, cardiology per se, no. But I have to do medicine, internal medicine, cardiology. And then I end with a PhD in cardiopathy and pregnancy. When I finish, I come back to the Dominican Republic, and there I marry with my husband, who is doctor also. We have two kids, and one day he say, okay, I want to come back to the United States. <laughs> it, where, where he's from? He's from? He is from the Dominican Republic, but he formed in New York, and he come back after he finished. We marry when we re-encountered there because we went to the university together. We did the medicine school together. And we was a... Uh, so you were, you were raised there, you you born in, in, in Dominican Republic. In Dominican Republic. How was that? Tell me. I've never been in Dominican Republic. I would love it's to go there. Tell me. It's a beautiful country. It's a beautiful culture. Uh, this, we, we come here looking for something, you know, for facilitate the life for our children. That things can be easy here than there. It's an island, you're coming from an island, mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. how, how it can be difficult. And we're coming here looking for that. One day my husband say, okay, you, you know what, I think it will be better for them there. Uh, they was baby in that moment, and I say, oh yeah, right. And he say, you know, <laughs> you know, you, for you do medicine there, you have to go to pass the test, go to the residence again, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. There was many challenges. Um, yes. And, but we, we have to baby. We don't have any help there. Mm -hmm. So somebody have to stay at home. And I say, oh yeah, I can handle. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that was my first mistake. To stay no at home? Mistake, no, no mistake, no. The, my first struggle that I stay at, that from everything, because we practice for 10 years there in the Dominican Republic. I have my practice, he has his practice, working full time, uh, nothing. So, uh, there was a change. I have a lot of help there. I was alone here with my two kids. One of them was a baby, a still baby. It's okay. Um, the first fight was with the depression. I have to fight a lot with the depression. After that, it's okay. Suck it up. And then I, I have to do whatever I have to do for my, my kids. So I went to work in the health area, like assisting or case manager. Still, the lady is my best friend here. <laughs> she helped me a lot. Uh, she showed me everything what I need to know. Uh, so, you know what? Uh, still, I am in the health area and I can do a lot for mm -hmm. the patient. I, the, so I went, I studied, I, I made myself a case manager. That is what I am doing today. I am a case manager for a company. Uh, and I found my way how to help all those patients, how to help the, the, the United States Health Department is not easy to go through. Mm. Okay, and my function is help, help with the education, help with the, uh, they understand what they have, and have the background. So I can explain every, very well, uh, go through the coordination. Uh, this is uh, what I'm doing right now. So medicine was, you know, I guess your passion. Yes, How do you decide it? What was, the, that, what was in you that you said, that's my route, that's what I'm going to do? Well, about the medicine? Um, mm -hmm. how, I don't know me. I don't remember in any moment what I, I didn't decide that, or when I decide. I know it. That's what I want to do. What's inside me is that's what I want to do. I want to help. I want to heal people. I want to treat disease. That's what I want to do. Uh, and I did it for a long time. <laughs> but, and in some way, in another way, I am still doing 
um, that helped me a lot. Do you still would like to get back full into the cardiology, just function? That's something that at some point you think. Uh, you listen, Damari, for I say I don't want to do medicine, I have to say I, I have to take off my skin because that's inside me. But that was one of the things I have to put it down when I come in here. I have to put it down my ego. Uh, I, it was the only way I keep going. Put it down my ego. I know where I know. I know where I am. But it's not. It's not recognized. It's not my my licensing. It's not the licensing in the United States. Is what it is. That is what you have, and you have to keep going. Of course, I will love. But I have. But I feel very comfortable where I am right now. In the uh, future, do you see yourself? trying to get back to get your license here? No. <laughs> no. It's not any more time for that now. For getting my license here, I have to go again to the hospital, to do the resident, everything again. And no, I am in, in another place right now. Of course. I love medicine. And I, I You're still it. doing, you know, part of, like you said, you're helping others. Exactly. It, that, that was it. That's what we do help people. You, you're a doctor, you help people. I am kiss money, I am helping people. Right now, no. In that moment, was the moment, but I have a baby. <laughs> but tell me about, you call it a hobby. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and how did that start to become a painter? The, 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 it's a hobby. Uh, when I was in those dark days, in the beginning, uh, I, I watch a lot of TV there in the bed. I, I don't want to do anything. You're talking about when you moved here. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was under depression. How many years ago was this? I was, I came here in 2005. Okay. Uh, so I was watching TV one day. I want, to, everything was black. Nothing was, <laughs> nothing. I was watching TV and so I can do that. Somebody was painting in the, in the TV. I so I can do that. And always I was with the paper. Uh, so I beginning. YouTube is excellent teacher. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I never went to uh, uh, art school, nothing like that. I never have received class. I just beginning to paint what I see. Is there different? The artists paint different than I paint. I paint what I see. I paint from a photo, from landscaping. Uh, uh, we have a friend come who can paint incredible. Uh, uh, Julio Sanchez. Julio Sanchez. And Bexy also. And um, they can do amazing things from. No, I paint what I see. The, for that reason, I am no artist, I am no painting, I just. <laughs> Eliana, <laughs> to paint what you see, okay. you need to have some sort of art. You need to be artistic. Uh, not not everyone can put it that way. do I that. I say it's hobby. And help me a lot. When you are in dark place, um, something help. That, be, that was the beginning of healing, you know? Um, it's okay. Uh, it's another way. It's not, it's not, not only just one the, path. Uh, yes, it's on, not only one path. It's not a different what I, can, what I can see in you, it's like you show that we don't have to just stay in one area. Your education play a you know, big role in your life. Mm. It was a higher goal that you achieved. Not many people, not many women out there achieved to be a cardiologist. Uh, yes, <laughs> accept it. So you were able to do that and then, you know, like right now the challenges took you to a different path, I guess pain at that point oh, yeah. was your motivator to do something else and you discover and we're talking about right and left side of the brains yes. that you were also able to be an artist <laughs> even though you're still trying <laughs> well, you no. fight it and probably the reason you fight it is because you, you like you said you haven't had formal education and you know how important is formal education because uh, yes. that's you dedicated a lot of years of your life to that no. so that's why you don't feel comfortable saying it yeah. But when, yeah. we use, when I see your art, when every, everyone around you see your art, we can admire it and get lost in the picture. I would thank you for that. <laughs> and you know, like not many artists out there can say that their painting 
are in different sort of um, clothing? That is a that was a there was another opportunity <laughs> who showed me my hands one day. One day I was talking with Julio. Julio said, Eliana, what are you doing with your painting? And I said, oh, when friends, family, they coming home, they take it. They are there. He said, you don't show to anybody? Oh, no, no. <laughs> and that day he, he gave me your phone, your phone number. We went to the art show and I sell, I sell four the first day. Uh, and then up here, the other was Vida. Is, uh, the company who transferred the, our work in apparel, beautiful apparel, and it's, it's doing good. So if someone would like to buy, you know, apparel, you know, and your paintings and clothing, what, what is it, the website that they can go or the Facebook page? Yes, the website is the general website, it's show Vida, but have to put it Eliana Baez collection. Or in my Facebook page, it's Eliana Baez Vida collection. So basically what you're saying also, it's like if someone is going through certain situations that are painful, that are difficult, painting is a way. Yes, it's painful. Yes, painting is a way. But uh, <laughs> it's a lot of way. Well, if I have to say something to somebody, I have uh, taken the opportunity. Don't go... Sometimes we focus on one thing, one thing, one thing, and the opportunity to show in our hands and we don't take it. It's not only looking for the opportunity, take it what the opportunity to come to you. So basically you're saying as a role model, you can di diversify in oh life. Yes. You really? don't have to stay stuck or think, you know, like well, probably some people will stay in the mind frame like, oh no, this is who I am, this is, you know, if I cannot be that person or fulfill this role, they don't continue. That can kill me. <laughs> that, that could kill me in that moment because I don't want, to, you know, I don't want to get out of bed. And that, because that was my feeling. If I cannot do medicine, I cannot do anything. I was, uh, okay, I just here in the United States, I cannot do anything. I was so wrong. And I am happy I was wrong. And I am happy maybe I was doing medicine. I never even a pain because I don't have time. So if you will have to advise a young woman out there that they look at you, because me, I admire you. You're a cardiologist, Eliana. You are someone who are showing that I can be an artist too. This does not have to stop me. So what would be your advice to young women out there that would look at you and they're like, I would like to be like her. What would you tell them? Don't quit. Don't quit. Keep going. Keep going and get open. Open mind for what is showing to you because sometimes we don't hear, we don't pay attention. We are so, like I told you, we are so focused. We don't pay attention to different signals is coming to us. To have an open attitude, yeah, the open attitude, be flexible. Yourself. Yes, we are very, you know, stubborn. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. But it was a lot of sacrifice to become a cardiologist. So was. definitely, it was hard well. to let it go in a sense. Well, but how I tell you, I have to kill my ego first, and then was in the moment. But when that's I still you. In. You're still a cardiologist. Yeah. I say that every day to me, <laughs> to myself in the mirror. It has been such a pleasure to have you. <laughs> you are a brave woman. <laughs> Thank this you. has been the Maestro for Latina Role Models. Eliana Baez. Thank you. Thank you.